Let's go see what Maude is doing. It'll be quiet out here. What are you doing, Maude? I don't feel well. I don't feel hungry. You're hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> Get out of here with that cookie. <laughs> you're I'm so hungry. You're so evil. <laughs> Good morning, Matty. Good morning, Baba. Good morning. Oh, wonderful. Good morning. Today's a very exciting day. I'm going for my colonoscopy. Ooh, the joy. I have been on a liquid diet for 24 hours. Is it 24 hours or a little less than 24 hours so far? Well, I started... It's 24. No, it's 24 hours, yes. It's Conholio Day. I can't, I can't stand him. I have to drink this thing. Oh my God. I have to finish this. It's not so bad. There's usually a solution that you're supposed to drink. I told the doctor, absolutely not. I will not drink that. I couldn't drink it even if I wanted to. My body just, um, you know, brings it right back up. If you know what I mean, I'm like, bleh. So the alternative method is called the Marilax method. Marilax comes in powdered form and you just mix it with Gatorade. I just use this distilled water bottle to mix it in, but it's a lot of liquid that you have to drink. Plus you have to take two double wax pills and then some citrate of magnesium. If you're gonna have a colonoscopy, ask your doctor about the Marilax method I didn't know about that until somebody told me, and I've been doing it that way ever since. I have to have colonoscopies every five years. My grandmother passed away from colon cancer. My dad had colon cancer. They caught it early. I get it from both sides. Lucky me. Anyway, colonoscopies are very important. I know the majority of people that watch my videos are women, but if there are any men out there listening to me, and I'm only saying this because I know sometimes it's a little harder for men to actually say yes to a colonoscopy. You know what I mean? Very, very important to have a colonoscopy done. Prevention is key. I'm gonna go drink this thing. Ugh. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> What's going on? Eh, not much. Just Oh my God, yeah. Enough already. All right, see you later. It's gorgeous. Center for blah, 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 and surgery. Okay, smarty pantaloons. Mama, you ready? No, I'm not ready. I love you, but I gotta go. I'm starving. I hope my stomach doesn't growl when I'm in there. It's gonna be embarrassing. I already have my little sake, son. It's 120. The doctor was late, unfortunately, because he had an emergency in the hospital, which I totally get. But my stomach doesn't get. Somebody send me a steak. They just did a test, a swab in my nostril. You know for what? I'm not going to say for what. Um, Sometimes I think you're not allowed to say the word. They'll be back in 10 minutes with the results, so... 
hopefully it's negative and we can move on with this procedure so I can have my steak. <laughs> What's happening? Can somebody tell me what's happening? Hi, Dr. G. How you doing? <laughs> Just woke up. <sighs> Doctor says everything went well. Just a little sleepy. Where's my steak? It's the next day. <laughs> I was so sleepy yesterday. It was incredible. I mean, I guess it was the anesthesia it just made me groggy no wonder they tell you do not operate heavy machinery don't drive <laughs> could you imagine i didn't get my steak <laughs> they told me i couldn't have anything heavy to eat i should stick to like scrambled eggs soup i mean really they said i was going to get a stomach ache and stuff if i ate too much so i had to settle for something light Fell asleep with the same clothes that I had on. I didn't even take my hospital uh, band thing off. Didn't take a shower. It happens sometimes. We just, you know, we just fall asleep with our clothes on. <laughs> what am I going to do today? I don't know. I have to do a few things. First and foremost, I have to color my hair. I don't know if you guys remember um, quite a few videos ago. I told you guys that I was going to let my hair go gray. Not it just it didn't work out for me. I don't like the way it looks. So I opted for something kind of in between. And what I mean by in between is I use a demi permanent color now just just for here. Like I don't even mind. I have I have gray in here and I don't mind it. It's just I don't like to see gray right here. So my oldest daughter told me about this Clairol soy fourplex i don't know if i'm saying this right it's a cream demi or demi it's demi permanent medium natural blonde my hair is kind of light anyway so i didn't want to put like a dark brown in here and then when the gray starts coming back you can like see the gray with this my grays come in and they just look like highlights i get this from amazon i'll leave it linked down below if you know you're interested they have lots of different colors and then i use the clairol developer the cream developer the best product i have ever used no lie okay enough about hair color <laughs> it's gonna be a hello fresh night it's not sponsored today i'm a customer I'm not lying like you know what i mean like i'm not just like oh i'm sponsoring hello fresh but i don't really use it no i use it for real i'm having one pan of pork and poblano tacos. I happen to love this. Peter Parker, not so much. I didn't eat a lot yesterday, so it's my choice today. So I don't have to do too much where that's concerned. Enough of the babbling. Let me straighten up a bit, do my hair, and then get out of this house. Mm -hmm.